The Hollywood Casino 400 race turned into a real showdown between Ryan Blaney and Ross Chastain. Ryan was seriously ticked off as he was trying hard to pass Ross and grab that fourth place spot, but it just wasn't happening. To make things even more intense, there were some pit stop blunders that messed up their positions on the track. That's not all this race had to offer though. In fact, it was one of the wildest playoff races ever, and we'll be sharing the key takeaways from it in a bit. While Bubba Wallace's ride ended up in a wall, Kyle Busch walked away a happy man. But not without some major worries in the back of his head. That's right, Kyle was feeling the heat as the 2023 NASCAR Cup Series season rolled on. The 38-year-old racing legend started the season strong with three wins, but things uh, took a nosedive in the later part of the year. Mistakes and mishaps had been piling up and they got him worried. In the first race of the Cup Series playoffs in Darlington, Bush, who had qualified in 8th place, got pushed to the back due to some adjustments that weren't approved before the race even started. That's a tough break. Before the race in Kansas Speedway, Bush talked to Front Stretch about the challenges he's been facing. He stressed how crucial it is for him and his team to be consistent. Looking back at the last race, Bush described how he fought his way from back to the front, setting himself up for a potential top 5 finish. However, pit strategy once again threw a wrench in the works, shuffling him back in the pack. He made it clear that these issues need to be fixed pronto, saying, We can't afford to have these problems every week and expect to come out on top. Kyle did have a mishap again in the Hollywood Casino 400, though starting from the back due to a practice mishap. However, he walked away a happy man after successfully fighting his way into the top 10 during the final stage, finishing 7th after a two-tire gamble. This marked his 15th top 10 finish of the season, keeping him comfortably in 7th place in the NASCAR playoff standings. Next up is Bristol, and he's got a special connection with that track. Yep, he literally calls it his second home. But he's not underestimating the challenges that Bristol presents. It's a tough track that demands precision and quick decision making. Bush knows he has to be at the top of his game every minute. Fortunately for Tyler Reddick, that's exactly what he did at the Hollywood Casino 400 and walked away as the big winner of the day. He notched his second win of the 2023 NASCAR Cup Series season and secured his spot in the round of 12 in the playoffs. Reddick seized the opportunity during a late race caution, making a daring move with four fresh tires in overtime to snatch the lead and take the checkered flag. It was a race filled with drama and thrilling moments. Reddick crossed the finish line in just .327 seconds ahead of his teammate and co-owner at 2311 Racing, Denny Hamlin, who finished in second place. Eric Jones, Kyle Larson, and Joey Logano rounded out the top five. The rest of the top ten included Chase Elliott, Kyle Busch, Christopher Bell, Brad Kosowski, and Alex Bowman. Throughout the Hollywood Casino 400, there were a total of 19 lead changes involving 10 different drivers. And the race saw nine caution flags. It was truly an action-packed event for NASCAR fans. And here are three key takeaways from it. Number three, it was a true nightmare for Truix. Martin Truix Jr., who had a strong regular season and seemed like a lock for the championship race, completely fell apart in Kansas. After struggling at Darlington, Truex needed a good performance but had no speed from the start of the race. He quickly fell back, experienced handling issues, and eventually collided with the wall, finishing in 36th place. This puts him in a precarious position, needing a strong run at Bristol, despite it not being one of his best tracks, to avoid a surprising first-round playoff exit. Number 2. Kansas as the Playoff Wildcard Kansas Speedway has become known for both exciting racing and chaos for playoff drivers in recent years, and this race was no exception. Besides Truex's troubles, Bubba Wallace suffered a flat tire, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and William Byron had their own issues, and Chris Boucher blew a tire and hit the wall late in the race. While not as unpredictable as Talladega or the Roval, Kansas Speedway has become a wildcard race in the NASCAR playoffs, where even top contenders can face unexpected challenges. Finally, at number one, there's Reddick's victory. Tyler Reddick really showcased his speed at intermediate tracks especially at Kansas Speedway, where he has struggled to secure wins in the past. In this race, he consistently ran in or around the top five. It seemed like he would finish second behind his team boss, Denny Hamlin. However, a late caution prompted pit stops in strategy. Reddick opted for a two-tire change and made a bold last lap pass on Eric Jones and Joey Logano to steal the win. If Reddick could continue to capitalize on races where he demonstrates speed like this, 
he could become a dark horse contender for the championship. However, Bubba Wallace, on the other hand, just dipped in the playoff picture after his crash at Kansas. Yep, his hopes of a Kansas Speedway victory took a serious hit when he crashed during stage two of the race. During the Hollywood Casino 400 on lap 108 out of 268, Wallace's number 23-2311 racing Toyota brushed against the outside retaining wall in turns one and two. This incident led to a flat rear tire, forcing Wallace to pit for repairs. He eventually finished the race four laps down in 32nd place. It was a tough break, especially considering he was running strongly in second place at the time of the crash. Wallace did manage to finish stage two in the same second position, earning nine valuable points towards his playoff total. Reflecting on the incident, Wallace explained, I got loose like five laps before, but I realized that was kind of like my line. My approach next to turn four and then three or four laps later, it blew out. No indication going into turn one. He expressed frustration with himself, acknowledging that flat tires tend to strike when you're running competitively rather than when you're further back in the pack. This setup puts Wallace in a challenging position in the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs. After making his playoff debut this season, he finished seventh in the previous race at Darlington Raceway despite an early spin. However, the result at Kansas has left him 19 points below the provisional elimination line. With the round of 16 finale taking place next Saturday at Bristol Motor Speedway, Wallace will need a strong performance at Bristol to stay in contention for the playoffs. Now for the drama between Ryan Blaney and Ross Chastain. Ryan was incredibly frustrated during the NASCAR race at Kansas Speedway when he couldn't manage to pass Ross Chastain for that coveted fourth place position. In fact, it turned into a fierce battle between two drivers. And adding to the drama, there were some mishaps during the pit stops that messed up Blaney's and Christopher Bell's positions on the track. You know, in NASCAR, giving up your spot isn't something drivers like to do. So Chastain wasn't about to let Blaney get past him without a fight. As the race heated up, Blaney's frustration hit its peak. There was a moment captured by NASCAR journalist Dustin Albino where Blaney let out some choice words aimed at Chastain. He basically said, Go effing knock Brandon McReynolds out. What an effing dickhead. You would go faster if you looked out the effing windshield. Despite the intense battle with Chastain, Ryan finished the race in 12th place, with Chastain right behind in 13th. But here's the good news for Blaney. He's holding strong in the playoff standings, currently sitting in 6th place while Chastain is in 8th. Even though it might not have been the most spectacular performance for Blaney, he was in the top 15 for a whopping 91.4% of the race. That's got to give him some confidence going into the upcoming races. Now with just one more race in this initial round of the NASCAR Cup Series, the 29-year-old has a little bit of room for error. The final showdown will happen in Bristol on Saturday. It's important to note that Bristol gave Blaney some trouble last year as he finished 30th due to a wheel-related issue. Let's hope he has better luck this time around. Do you think he'll shine at Bristol? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to watch the next one that will pop up on your screen and subscribe to our channel to stay in the loop with all things NASCAR.